close your eyes and try to feed on your breath. What kind of breath do you have right now? Is it something you'd like to feed on? If it's not comfortable, you can change it. What kind of breath would be really delicious? As the Buddha said, our contact with the senses is one way in which we feed. And then our intentions are another thing we feed on. So make sure your intention is good, make sure it's solid. And then we are feeding the mind health food. We go through the day feeding on all kinds of things. And for the most part, it's junk food. So here's our chance to get some healthy food into our, into our mind. Because the mind does need to feed. It feeds on its objects, it feeds on its intentions. And the mind can be healthy or unhealthy depending on how you feed it. All too often we go for the kind of food that tastes good, but it's not going to be good for you. So you have to start thinking in terms of the long term. What would be for my long-term welfare and happiness? The Buddha said that question, it lies at the beginning of discernment, the beginning of wisdom. <coughs> so as you feed the mind, remember it, you want to feed it in such a way that it, the benefits will last for a long time. So don't go for the quick fix. Don't go, go for the snack food that's got a lot of salt and fat in it. Try to find something that's healthy, something that's nourishing. Good intentions in the mind, intentions of goodwill, goodwill for all beings. That's good food for the mind. And the intention to develop good qualities in the mind, but think qualities like alertness, mindfulness, ardency. You do that as you stay with the breath. So in this way, when we say we're resting with the breath, it's not just resting, we're feeding. We're feeding the mind good food. The more you get used to good food, the less you'll be interested in junk food out there. And the better that will be for everybody, 